At Optometica, we specialize in ophthalmology and ophthalmotic, um, ophthalmology products. Okay, we presently or recently released Pascal. It's a photocoagulator for the treatment of retinal diseases. 50% of those people diagnosed with um, diabetes have a problem with their eyes called diabetic retinopathy. Uh, photocoagulation is the standard procedure to treat this, this disease and has been used since the 1970s. The, the procedure uses a laser to kill some of the retina so the rest will live. Let me tell you, this procedure really works and saved a lot of people's eyesights, but it hurts. It really hurts. It's like getting a soldering iron right in your eyeball. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people don't want to come, up, come back for a second visit. Okay. Even though they could go blind. They can go blind. So this is serious. Okay. So at Optometica, we changed the procedure to make it safer, faster, and more pleasant for the patient and the doctor. <laughs> this is Pascal. Yeah. Okay, it semi-automates the procedure, uh, the current procedure. Why don't you uh, have a seat at the driver's seat here? Before I get to that, I just want to explain how we use the FPGA, okay, okay. in the system right here. We first calculate the pattern in the, in the host, then we DMA it down to the FPGA, okay? Then, using FPGA and intelligent DAC is really the heart of our system. We use the analog output to control the beams, in the analog input to make sure that every beam is in its right position before we fire it. We're going to do the old method, okay? Before Pascal was invented, this is how the procedure would go. All right, what I want you to do, Tim, is put a five by five grid. This five is by five grid. A five by five grid, and this is how the, the doctor would do it. In reality, he would have a lens in his hand to stabilize the eye and keep the eyelid open, but Tim is just going to Try and fire so away there. Pump, pump the foot. Hit the foot pedal. Let's do a five by five grid. All right, Tim. That's 25 spots. A typical procedure is around 2,000 spots. Ugh. And they usually do it in three or four sessions. Oh my gosh, that could be quite painful. Yeah, very painful. Now let's go to the Pascal method. I'm gonna bring up a. There's a five by five for you. Can you move it over to the side? Yeah. So we can see your artwork next to ours. Okay. You ready there, Tim? Yep. So what do I it. have to do on this one? Hit the pedal. Just hit the pedal. There it is. Ah. Pascal can do up to 56 laser burns in less than 600 milliseconds and do a whole procedure in about five minutes. Think about that. Go to the doctors, you have this problem. Usually he says, come back in two weeks, we're gonna stick a laser in your eye. I'm sure you're gonna get sleep for that, those two weeks, right? <laughs> now the doctor can say, hey, you have a problem, sit down, let's take care of it, five minutes, it's over with. That's a big deal. <laughs> we also found out, to make, the, to make the scanner go faster, we had to shorten the pulse width. The normal pulse width was about 100 milliseconds, and that would take all day to do 56 spots. So we shortened it to about 10 or 20 milliseconds, and we found out that by shortening the laser pulse and raising the power, it decreases the pain felt, felt by the patient by not letting the heat diffuse into the nerve layer. Some people don't even feel it at all, and that's a big deal too. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Can I, can I do it again? Sure. Let's see what else we got here. Let's get some pattern in there. Why don't you move to a cleaner spot on the retina okay. there? Okay. We got little patterns. And you can, uh, we can control the spacing and the spot size, like I said before. And let's give you, I know you like the arcs there. Everybody arcs likes the sports. arcs. Check this front panel out here. We can grab it and rotate it around. This was designed by Mike Semino. Check this out. I've never seen a front panel that'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's give it a whack. All right. Again, just one press of my foot. That's it. Done. And there it is. All right. <laughs>
When we started um, Optometica, it was just a physicist and I working on the prototype. And you know how much they were. Our prototype was designed using the uh, FPGA R-Series PXI, and it worked great. We took it to our, our investors. We got, we got our money that we needed to continue. <laughs> And uh, when you guys came out with the PCI, FPGA platform, we wrapped our whole, our whole product around it, and it's been working great ever since. I've been using LabVIEW and LabVIEW products for over 15 years, and I built a career and even a company on your products. And I just want to thank National Instruments for helping us change the world of ophthalmology. Thank you. Okay.